Yeah, I mean, uh, it wasn't our best game tonight for sure. First half was uh, it's definitely um, not what we're capable of doing. Halftime we came in, said we needed to come out faster, stronger, just put them under pressure, right? We're more experienced than they were, and uh, we kind of let them play, outplay us in the first half. So second half was just putting up the pressure. Obviously, me getting the goal was great, but celebrating with my boys is always, is always fun. It's, that's pretty much why I still play this game, because it's for those kids. But for us, it's just an important goal. Get the three points at home. Let's just wipe it off the slate now, get ready for our last game. How difficult is it on coming into the game where, you know, you win, you got a home match, and you look at their record, and the first time you played, you won four, just to kind of be human nature, it's going to be an easy match type of goal. Sure, I mean, you should never really think that way. As pros and as men that we are, that's something you should always you know, take pride in is coming out every game, playing like a professional and, and like a man. And we didn't do that in the first half, whether it was thinking it was just going to be an easy game or, I don't know, maybe the tired legs. But um, we tried to fix it at halftime, put a little bit more pressure on our own. It did work a little bit. I think the guys will, will take this night and just, you know, know it wasn't our best, get ready for the next game, get ready for playoffs, and, and uh, just move on from this one. Yeah, I mean, they they uh, they had nothing to, not, nothing to lose tonight, right? So when they have nothing to lose, they can kind of take risks, they can take chances. They're high pressing us, which um, which is good for us. It's good for us to to kind of work on that anyway and see what that's like going into the playoffs. When we're going to have it's going to be a high pressure situation, you know, every single minute of the game. So yeah, I mean, when you're playing a team like that, it's always difficult. But like I said. As experienced professionals, you got to be able to calm yourselves down and play under that pressure and just get out of those situations. You had a game against uh, Tampa last game, a draw tonight was almost a draw to your goal, and then you have RTV to close out the season. Three very tough matches to close out the season. How much prepared will that be for you guys heading into the playoffs? Yeah, I mean, when you're playing quality opponents like that, it's always good doing that going into playoffs and. And kind of seeing three different styles of play too. You got an experienced team in Tampa, maybe a younger team in Portland, but they play good soccer. And then you know RGV is a rival game that you just never know what's going to happen. So having those three different kinds of games going in the playoffs, it's high pressure. Uh, it's good for us. You know, hopefully we'll be ready to go and just get ourselves ready and you know get ready to go to the playoffs. Mentioning tonight's home match for the playoffs. Last year going into RGV, y'all were just trying to clinch clinch a playoff spot. So now you're going to RGV and you're just trying to get second. How is that? Just kind of start to finish looking back for you. Yeah, I mean it's been it's been kind of a whirlwind, right? It's been it's pretty been awesome just to see how the how the team's changed, how the how the club has grown, but as of now, that's that's something we'll worry about at the end of the year and reflect on and say, you know, that was good, but let's see how we can finish out the season now. That's all we're thinking about. This game's over. RGV's next. If we win that game, second place, you know, that's home home all the way through except for the last game if the first place team wins. You know, so it's RGB now and going into playoffs. So after that, then we'll reflect and, you know, go from there.